Hey everyone, this is Chris from Grimsby in the UK. You're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs. Enjoy. It's a beautiful snowy day out there, Chevy. Beautiful. Good day to be at home. So I've been at home a few days already, uh, waiting for my truck. I brought my truck in, well, let's see, what's today? Today is Tuesday. I brought my truck in, well, it went in yesterday, Monday morning, for a safety. And here in Canada, every year you have to get your truck safety. They do a very thorough inspection of your entire unit, and they find anything that doesn't quite meet the requirements of a safety or getting close to not meeting it, and they replace it so that your truck is good to go and safe to operate on the road, right? That's the idea. So they found a bunch of little things that they need to fix. They replaced the windshield and that took all day yesterday, the windshield and, and the inspection. That might be them messaging me right now. I just sent a message in letting them know that my truck should be done by the end of day. Letting the people there know. Let's see what they said. They said, good. So I'm not too sure what all exactly needs to get done. They went through the whole list of things because they have to get my okay. And they called me yesterday, end of the day, and I was hoping that everything would be done by then already, but you know, it's reality. They have to order in the parts, they have to install the parts, they have to test the parts before they sign off on it and give it back to me. Because if anything's not done right, they know I'll be back there the next day with a upside down smile, with, with, with not so much of a smile as a frown, I should say. I'll be, I won't be happy. And they don't want that. Obviously they want happy customers. Everybody wants happy customers. So to keep me happy, fix my truck and fix it right the first time. And they know this, they know this and they, I've never had a problem with them. So we'll get the safety done. We'll get back on the road and we have to take that trailer down to Cresco, Iowa. I'll probably be there Thursday morning. That's what I'm thinking. They wanted me there tomorrow already. If I can leave this afternoon, I could be there by then, but it's all a waiting game. Welcome to trucking, right? So we're at home today. I got a few projects I need to get done. We've gotten a lot of snow out here. Uh, you can tell in our backyard. And a lot of that snow is staying on our roof. So I've got a roof rake and I'm gonna be spending the day today pulling the snow off the roof. Get myself all buttoned up. It's not too cold out today, that's why I wanna get the roof raked today. All the snow taken off the roof today. Because it's only like minus six today, so it's actually a pretty nice day out. This season has been really nice actually. We've had a pretty good winter. Hasn't been that cold at all. We're in the deep freeze time of year where it's usually hovering between minus 20, minus 40 plus wind chill, and it's been minus six all year. So, pardon me, not all year, all week. It's been minus six all week. No, it has not been minus six all year. We do have summers here. Canada isn't that cold. So some of the Christmas lights have had to come down, unfortunately. Christmas is over. So we still got these icicles up here that we left up there. But in order for me to scrape the roof, I had to take these off. See, see how much snow is built up there? You can tell where I've, right over here. I had to take the red and green off because they were falling off on their own as I was pulling the snow off. And we need to get the snow off the roof. One thing, it's heavy. Like, look at all this snow that came off already, eh? For one thing, it's heavy, putting extra weight on the roof. It's an old house, don't want that having to deal with any more weight than it has to. And also because uh, we have issues. <laughs> we put a new roof on last winter and that should fix the leaking because there was leaking that was coming into our house, water coming into our house, so we put a new roof on. But the reason the water was melting and then it was forming ice dams and then you know pushing up underneath the shingles was that our heating goes through our attic. Our furnace blows the hot air through these like insulated vents that go through the attic into the house and spread it around the house, right? 
this summer we're actually moving that to under the house so that the the heater the, the heat will travel under the house instead of in the attic because that heat is warming up our attic on one side of our house and it's causing the the snow at the peak to melt and trickle down to the bottom where it freezes and then that continues to happen all winter until you got this huge dam of ice at the bottom and all the water pooling up behind it and that's it's it's not a good system whoever installed this furnace wasn't thinking about that maybe they didn't think that would happen but it did and that was before we moved here so now we got to fix their mistakes it's the story of this house we're just fixing past mistakes it's an old house but uh, we love it this is home and we're gonna keep working at it until it's tip top by the time you know we retire this place will be immaculate the yard and everything speaking of the yard uh i think i think this might be the last summer using our old lawnmower i think in summer 2021 we may be ready to buy our new tractor it's gonna have a bucket a tiller we might even get two we might get a uh, a zero point turn lawnmower i don't know i'm gonna get john deere so i gotta go talk to them yet but hmm. a little over a year, year and a half maybe fingers crossed That'd be fun, we could finally start landscaping. So we're gonna need our trusty truck to help us out here, because I need to get up higher. This is the roof rake here, it extends to 25 feet. And that's the snow we're trying to get off. You see how that side, the top there, has no snow on it? And that side did. I scraped that off yesterday already. That side is what's causing the problem. So it works like this. You can push it over the snow and then it's curved in a way that when you pull it back, the snow comes with it and it digs into the snow. I don't know if you can see it or not. Here, see if I can balance myself on this bucket here for you without breaking my neck. There you go. See, there's still ice being built up in the valley there. And that's not good because look at the top. There's no snow or ice up there, right? And the furnace comes up out of our furnace room right there and then goes through the attic that way now it goes through insulated tubes and stuff right but they're not insulated enough waiting for a phone call from the shop this is the next day uh, so we cleaned off the roof yesterday got the whole thing done and it's snowing again today so that's lovely just add a little bit extra on there at least all the weight is off the roof our house shifts a little bit it's a uh, it's pretty much on a, it doesn't have a basement, right? So it's just on a slab or on stilt or whatever. You, so when it, the weather gets cold or when you take weight off the roof, it shifts loudly during the night to scare you at the perfect time. So in the middle of the night, you'll hear this kadunk, and there's just like, you know, the frame foundation just shifting. I don't know, not the foundation, but the house shifts. And when it gets really, really cold, that makes things contract as well, right? And then when it warms up, it expands. And as the house sort of breathes and moves with the environment, and when you take the weight off the roof, it's freaky. So last night, I, I swear there was someone trying to get into the house. So I was like ready to fight off someone already. I was freaking out because I'm like, where are they? I can hear them out there. But it turned out it was just the house creaking. Man, that would have made an interesting vlog though, eh? <laughs> so I'm in jail. <laughs> Trying to break into my house. Uh, I wish we had uh, different laws, like in the U.S. But that's a topic for a different time. Topic for a different time. So, uh, as you can tell, I'm kind of bored here. I'm sitting here farming. Oh, I'm a, I'm a farmer. I'm not sure if you knew this or not. Uh, let's see here. Hey. Hi, why is this frozen? What? Why is my game frozen? Hey! Excuse me! Well, that is not very nice. I was gonna show you my game, now I'm gonna have to, I guess, turn the computer off. The computer didn't even wanna turn off. What's going on here? Well, that's weird, hasn't done that all weekend. So, yeah, I'll show you in a bit what I'm doing here, but uh, I'm a farmer. My spare time, not just a trucker. I just built a big shed. I was gonna show you. Oh man, I hope my game saved. I hope my game saved. 
It's supposed to automatically save every 15 minutes, but. Control, Alt, Delete. Nothing? Okay, we're gonna have to do a hard reboot. Alrighty then. I am the boss, me. I will tell you when to turn off and when to stop working. It's gonna reset, huh? So I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. I want it to be on the road right now already. I've got all of my stuff ready to go here. All I need is the truck. You coming with me on the trip, Chevy? Got all my stuff ready to go here. But anyways, so I gotta, I'm gonna call him back in 15 minutes because I want it to be on the road this morning like I was telling you and I have to leave this afternoon or I'm going to be a little late. Not delivering. The load I'm delivering can be delivered whenever, but they don't receive on Fridays. And today is Wednesday and it takes a whole day to get there. So if I leave this afternoon, I'll be there tomorrow afternoon on Thursday. And on Friday, I have to go pick up a load of glass. And uh, that glass has a couple of very shiny nickels attached to it. And I don't want to have to give it up to someone else because those are my nickels. Mine. And if I take too long to get down there, they're gonna give it to somebody else. And then I'll just be left with pennies. And we don't even have pennies anymore in Canada, so I don't even know what I get. So let's hope that they have good news for me soon. Apparently, of course, my check engine light was not on, right? It wasn't on, but sometimes for some reason, you know, it's, it's popped on before and then turns off like half an hour later. And I've had it checked out before. Apparently it's a sensor. And it doesn't happen very often. It doesn't happen very often. It's been fixed a couple of times, but the, the check engine light wasn't on, right? It brought it there. Of course, when they bring it into the shop for the safety, the check engine light comes on, right? Now they gotta run all their diagnostics, figure out what's going on, figure out if it's the same sensor or if it's a different one. So that's why the truck is in the shop today because the check engine light decided to come on exactly when, exactly when I took it into the shop. I guess it's better that it goes on before it goes in there so they can fix it, right? But it's just, I need to get going. Chasing, chasing some money here and uh, sitting here farming as fun as farming is, it doesn't actually make me any real money. I mean, I have a bunch of money in, actually I'm, Quite, quite a bit in debt. So no, I don't have money in my farming life either. Even in the fake world, I have no money. <laughs> oh, let's, let's start this thing up again. I wanted to show you my farm. I was very proud of it. My wife thinks I'm a dork. That's okay. I'm gonna have to reboot this whole game and everything and hope that it saved it. Whatever, if it didn't, that's fine. But yeah, so uh, hurry up and wait. It's the name of the game. Hurry up and wait. I can't even do proper circles. I don't have enough room here. Watch out, Chevy. Watch out, Chevy. Here I come. Watch out. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, I hate that noise too. Okay, so this is what we do while we wait for wait for our truck. <sighs> There's nothing left to do. Chevy. Say hi to the good people. I'm bored. We could play. Well, I have a couple of toys you could play with. Well, we could scratch our ears. That's always fun. Chevy, where's your toy? Oh, it's really itchy. You want, you want some help with that? You want some help with that? Where's your toy? Can you bring me a toy? Can you bring me a toy? Where's the toy? Go get it. Go get the toy. Diesel will go get it. Diesel, can you find me a toy? Go get a toy. I'm bored. Go get, go get a toy. Bring it here. Get a toy. No, you gotta bring it to me. Bring me the toy. You don't want, no? Sorry, Dad. Did you just fart? <laughs> You're a little court jester, aren't you? Well, at least you made me laugh. Did you hear that? <laughs> so I guess I will talk to you again when I know more about what's going on. Hopefully I'll have good news for you. I'm gonna give him a call in 10 minutes. I got a hold of the gods at the shop.
They didn't have the news I was hoping for, but it's not the worst news. The truck will be done by end of day today, but it will be done at the end of the day today. So, I called the customer where we're going to be delivering. You guys mind if I hang out here with you for a bit and stare at this big black box on the wall? Cool. So, uh, I called them and uh, I called the customer down in Iowa and let them know, uh, or asked them, uh, what their receiving hours were, and uh, they don't receive after 2.30 p.m. tomorrow. And usually they're not open to receive the next day on Friday, which would mean that the load could only be delivered Monday. So, I put on my best trucker Josh convincing you voice, and I said, would you please, please unload me on Friday? I'm paraphrasing, that's not the words I exactly used, but anyways, I asked them nicely if I, you know, could unload Friday if I were to get there Friday and they were very nice but he said you know what we have guys here first thing in the morning they're just not here very long but if you could be here first thing 7 30 a.m. we can get you unloaded Friday mm. good so everything should work out and I shouldn't be too rushed so I have about three hours it's noon right now they said I should be done by three so I'm gonna go well, my sister's coming here to pick me up because my wife is at work right now. And uh, I need to go get my pickup. I can't bring my pickup there because then I'll bring my pickup there, bring the semi home to get loaded up and stuff. And then my pickup will be over there. And even if I bring all my stuff to load up the truck there and then leave from there, my pickup will still be over there with no way to get back here. You know what I'm saying? So my sister's coming down here. She's going to give me a ride to the shop in town so that I can pick up the truck and uh, come back here, pick up the weasel. He's gonna come with me. He's uh, just, you know, napping before the big trip right over there. Sound asleep. And then we'll come back here, we'll get loaded up. Uh, the wife will probably be back home from work around 4.30. I might be out of here by then. Uh, if not, then uh, I'll kiss her goodbye and it'll be off to the races. And we'll get our trailer and book it down to Iowa. We'll be down there tomorrow evening. I am scared to see what my bill is going to be. My truck has been in the shop for three days now. At probably what? What's the going rate now? Like 115 bucks an hour? Plus all the parts. So I had a... I'll, I'll, I'll go through it all with you tomorrow in tomorrow's video of what all got replaced and what got fixed. I know there was a, a wheel bearing that had to be replaced. There was a brake pad that needed to be replaced. And a few other little things which turned into big things. And... A lot of time spent in the shop. <clears throat> so I don't know how much they're going to bill me for. It'll be a few thousand dollars. We'll just say that. So yeah. Just hanging out here with my boys. Everybody's having naps. I'm just staring at that black box. Hasn't told me anything yet, but... Speaking of, my other smaller black box is over here, and I got my game running. I can show you my farm now. Are you guys excited? This is my farm. That's Jose. He's my worker. Not to be confused with Jorge. He's my other worker. He's uh, weeding the field for me right now. It's nighttime. It's hard to see. Uh, maybe I'll show you this during the day. I can get the sun to come up. See, this is my combine. Yeah, I'll have to show you this during the day. One second. You see it? Past the glare, how fast the clouds are moving. I've sped up time. I'm trying to get the sun to come up over there so that I can show you guys the farm. I am a dork, aren't I? So, this is my new uh, telehandler right here. It uh, picks up all the pig food and puts it back in the pig pen because they're messy creatures. This is my new shed that I got built. I'll have to show you this another time. Uh, those are my pigs over there. Pigs. Like I said, I got Jose over here weeding a field for me. This is actually not my field, but uh, I'm weeding it for a friend. And uh, I didn't have time to do it, so I hired Jose here to do it for me. He's doing a good job. He's a good worker. Oh, now the sun's coming up. You see that? Sunrise. Beautiful. So now you can see my stuff more. Let's, let's slow down the clock here so that we're not racing through time here so much. Okay, real time, there we go. Okay, so yeah, I bought this telehandler just recently to help out around the farm. 
And then inside the shop here, you've got my JCB. I bought this tractor because it's the fastest and I can get around the map the fastest with it. My combine back there, just bought this new air seeder over here. This part holds all my uh, sugar beets that I feed to the pigs. Just store that in there. And these are my pigs, my large pig pen. Doing all right. Oh, they need some hay. Well, I got another smaller pig pen down, down the hill over here. Right down here, just gotta go around. Gotta do some landscaping so that's not such a big drop there yet. And here's the, the smaller pig pen. That's that. Own a couple of fields and stuff. I know a lot of you play Farm Simulator 19 as well too. And uh, it's actually pretty fun, it's addicting. I spend a lot of my free time, whatever free time I do have, farming. I learned a lot about the farming process. All you actual farmers out there are just laughing away at me, I know. But I'm a farmer. I don't care, I'm a farmer. I have a whole farm here, look at this. Look at this, look at all this equipment over here. Look at that, I got a small cultivator, a big cultivator, a plow, a manure spreader, a slurry spreader, a fertilizing spreader, a sprayer. See all that? There we go. A baler, a small weeder. See? This is how I spend my time when I have nothing to do, which is almost never, so it's been kind of fun waiting for my truck. It, it passes the time. It takes a lot of time. <laughs> so uh, I guess we'll uh, continue this video tomorrow. Sorry, this video has not had much content. It continues to snow and I just cleaned the roof of snow. So that means when I come back in a week or so, or a couple of days actually, I'll just be going down to Minnesota, Iowa coming back. When I come back, I'm gonna have to clear off the roof again. Fantastic. You can see all my footprints in the snow there. I've cleared the roof off. It was quite a bit of work. It took a good four and a half hours. Four and a half, five hours. So is life in Canada. So thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for keeping me company on this boring day while we wait for the truck. Tomorrow's vlog will start with us going to get the truck or as we arrive at the truck and I'll show you what all got done to it and what took three days to accomplish. So I'll see you then. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you later.